welcome. My name is Dr. Greg Hunley from Wake Forest University in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and I'm coming to you today on behalf of Jack Imaging. We're going to talk about a new development in the world of magnetic resonance imaging. It allows us to both characterize tissue and look at left ventricular function at the same time so that we can better identify patients with cardiovascular disease. Helping to explain this new development is Dr. Matthias Friedrich from the University of Calgary and also uh, Dr. Rohan Dharmakumar from Northwestern University. Rohan, can you tell us a little bit about this development that you've worked so hard on? Right. So this, uh, this approach that we have actually developed here uh, allows us to combine uh, cardiovascular function uh, imaging as well uh, with uh, edema imaging for the first time. So what this allows us to do is to go faster um, and shave off about uh, typically 10 minutes of acquisition time in a 45-minute scan in cardiac MR. So you have a new technique that's faster, and it sounds like you're measuring function, but then you also mentioned edema. What, what is that? Right. So typically, uh, function has been very uh, well established with cardiac MR. Um, here we are looking at tissue changes in response to uh, acute myocardial infarction, reperfused acute myocardial infarction. And uh, in response to that, what happens is an elevation of free water content that now we are able to pick up at the same time we do uh, imaging uh, in a cardiac phase resolved manner so we can get function as well as visualize these territories that are edematous. Excellent. So with one study, you, one beauty of your study is that it's translational. So there was some animal work, and you had histopathologic validation, but then also, Matthias, I understand there's a cl clinical component. Can you tell us about that? Yes, in collaboration with Rohan, we also included 26 patients with acute MI and uh, looked at the accuracy uh, in an admittedly small sample size of this technique as compared to a standard technique we are currently using for imaging edema. So will that be useful for patients with just acute infarcts, or could you also see a use for this perhaps in patients with chronic ischemic heart disease? I think that's an excellent question. So the application of imaging edema would, of course, be not confined to acute MI, but all diseases uh, which are potentially acute uh, that uh, pertains to acute coronary syndrome or ruling out acute coronary syndrome, uh, just as in chest pain in a patient with chronic coronary artery disease but also refers to acute myocarditis in patients with acute chest pain, yet normal coronary arteries. So the combination of the two, function plus edema imaging, is an ideal tool to verify acuteness of any cardiac disease. So in summary then, the two of you have worked together and developed a new fast imaging technique that helps us characterize the myocardial tissue and differentiate acute injury in the setting of patients with many different types of heart disease, whether that be inflammatory uh, or an acute uh, cardiac syndrome. Well, I want to thank you both for coming and visiting with us today on the behalf of Jack Imaging. Uh, we look forward to seeing this development uh, use for use in the future. Thank you.